So here I have an Acer laptop and it has a white screen issue. So we turn it on and you can kind of see the glow and nothing. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is plugging in an HDMI cable uh, to, to verify that maybe it's a bad screen. So I'm just going to plug the HDMI cable in. Got that plugged in. And then I'll plug it in on my monitor over here. And we'll see if we get a signal. And we are getting a signal, but it's just it's just dark. Okay. Interesting. We are getting an HDMI signal, but it's this dark. Hmm. Maybe we should try to. Okay. Now I did see the Acer logo there. And then it's just dark. So after the Acer logo. This goes dark. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm thinking it's either bad RAM or bad hard drive there. So flipping it over, we do have some screws. Okay. Doesn't look like uh, too old, old. Uh, computer here. So, why is it doing this? Don't know. Corrupted hard drive. Bad connection. We'll find it. Okay. Okay, so this one just clips off quite easy. That's good. Yes, nice. Yeah, so it's a it's a more of a modern type uh, computer here laptop because you can see looks like we don't have an SSD hard drive it, and you can see the external RAM it's just all internal here so this is the battery battery looks okay it's not swollen or anything Okay. Hmm. 
This is the cable that goes to your screen. It looks to be okay as well. I'm just going to reattach it. You never know if it gets some corrosion or, you know, over time, what have you. That's a shame. A couple year old laptop doesn't work. Okay. So that's fine. Let's check out the CPU. So this is the heat sink. And you can see the main CPU right here. This is the power up IC, like the input. This is your uh, internal RAM. We may have to heat this up. We never. It could be a problem with the RAM. I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay. So. Could it also be a CPU problem too. We don't know. may want to try to install new RAM. We could try that. I'm just going to snug up these, this heat sink here. Let me see if I have new RAM. Looks like it's DDR4 because this is DDR3 and it doesn't fit there. So it's a, it's a newer design. I don't think I have the newer design. So, can't do that idea. Okay. Let's try it again. I'm just going to plug it in. Actually, you know what? Here's my genius idea. I'm going to disconnect the power from my battery. Okay. This will be like a hard reset. And, I'm, and then I'm just going to use external power. I'm not going to use the battery at all. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna put this in. Okay, and we'll hit the power button. Okay, it turns.
this is farther than what we've uh, been able to get and I am getting some external signal as well signal to my um, my monitor over here so that's that's wonderful could have been just doing a, a reset it was like kind of stuck in some sort of software issue so it's not a hardware issue there let me just uh, put in okay there we go we got the pin in and I, I did take off the back case and I disconnected the power to from totally disconnected the power that could have done a hard reset as well because wow look at that yeah 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 we are I think it was just a, a software bug and just needed a, a, a reset really simple fix just take off the back just take the back off with a couple screws and you can just use a guitar, uh, guitar pick to do that and disconnect your battery and and um, I was pressing like you know F1 and stuff just to get into like the BIOS but yeah it's working it's really nice okay it's looking like it's working good I'm just gonna shut this down and I will reattach the battery and we'll just see if it can um, work now so I'm just going to reattach the battery okay okay this the CPU feels okay it's not too bad and I'm going to just put this clip this back on the case okay we'll plug it in got that plugged in okay fingers crossed let's see if it works now power on Easter logo yes nice we don't want to have a, a blank screen yes looks like it's that's a good symbol it means it's working it's loading let's see if we can get into windows here blank screen again and it loaded wonderful okay that should be it great so give this uh, video a thumbs up if it helped you just uh, disconnect the battery inside um, there's different models that but the screws are in the back and we should be good to go yeah. wonderful okay we'll just put on the screws and we're back to normal